Hello, assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu. Welcome to day 64 of 99 Days of Gratitude, a practice for sisters. Today we'll be contemplating El Wajid. My name is Gina Petanito, and I am the founding member of the Muslima virtual co writing community and my business, Writing Your Way. Why gratitude? See the water which you drink? Do you bring it down from the cloud or do we? Were it our will, we could make it salt and unpalatable. Then why do you not give thanks? And this is from El Wakia, verses 68 through 70. Today, we're going to call on El Wajid, often translated as the finder, the resourceful, or the realizer. As always, I will read a passage from the most beautiful names of Allah by Samira Fayyid Kowalda. Allah is the one who always finds whatever Allah wills and desires. Allah is in need of nothing. Allah is the one whose bounty is inexhaustible, forever ready to be given. Allah is also the finder of truth, the true knower. And Allah knows the truth about our hearts. Um, Sister Samira also includes a verse from Surah Al-Sad, verse 44. Surely we found him to be a good and steadfast man. And this is referring to the prophet Ayyub. And so my dua for today, Ya al-Wajid, always find me a good and steadfast person as you found your servant Ayyub. My gratitude item for today, I am grateful to al-Wajid for all that you give me. And one thing I can do to please Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala today is give sadaqah. Consider these verses from Surah Duha, which I'm sure you have memorized, or maybe it's on your list to be memorized. It's one of the short surahs in Juz 30. And Allah found you lost and guided you, and Allah found you poor and made you self-sufficient. So do not oppress the orphan, nor repel the beggar, but rehearse and proclaim Lord's, the Lord's bounty. And this is verses 6 through 11. And as you can see, the verb that's being used there is wajid, wajida. Allah found you lost, wajida. My daily affirmation, I am resourceful. Allah's resources are limitless, but Al-Wajid encourages us to be resourceful within our limits. And so once again, I've been reading a number of commentaries on these names, and this, I don't have a verse or a hadith, but just basically my own interpretation and my understanding from, in this case, from the website, My Islam. We all have strengths we can tap into or better use our resources those of us sisters who manage households know about how to creatively stretch a dollar, feed our families considering everyone's diets and tastes, and develop the best schedule for everyone's busy days. And if you're not yet running a household, you're probably watching somebody run a household and take note of what um, she is doing. Sisters, let's tap into our many, many resources and our many strengths in order to become resourceful people. Jazakum Allah khair to Sister Kate Hepburn of Finding Sakina for encouraging this practice, for Sister Samira Fayed Kowalda for writing the book, The Most Beautiful Names of Allah. As always, you can purchase the paperback version from the link below this video. Jazakum Allah khair for all of you for spending this time with me. A shout out to the wonderful artists and photographers used in this presentation. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu. See you on day 65.